Hey there, everyone. Today, I want to talk to you about how you can level up your platform engineering career by taking a look at the certifications we offer over at platformengineering.org. Specifically today, I want to look at not just what you could expect by maybe looking at these certifications, but who you might even be to be looking at them in the first place and what you can expect to get out of them. I also have some really interesting learnings from teaching these certifications for the better part of a year and a half that I think might be pretty valuable for you. So who am I and why am I here talking about this? Well, my name is Mallory and I am not only what we like to jokingly call a platform therapist, but I'm also one of the instructors for the platformengineering.org certification courses, also known as Platform University. I'm actually a full stack developer by background, uh, like to jokingly refer to myself as believing in the PHP Renaissance. It is coming, mark my words. Um, and there's some other fun facts on this slide about me. Now, you can get in touch with me at Mallory at PlatformEngineering.org or on LinkedIn, uh, and I'll share that again at the end of the deck. So if you want to get in touch, ask some questions, maybe follow up on some of the things you see inside of this talk, uh, happy to answer those. So in the last few years, it's very clear that platform engineering is growing. And even a few years ago, this wasn't a term that showed up on job descriptions, let alone a job title. It's amazing because today platform engineering is the backbone of not just developer productivity, but improving developer experience and sort of the modern software delivery ecosystem, um, not just in startups, but also in really large enterprises. It's growing. But how do you actually get to a place where you learn how to do platform engineering really well? Well, I'm going to answer that question for you today. And the simple answer, the shortest one, is that Platform Engineering University is the place to look. And this is coming to you from the folks that have also brought you PlatformCon, this conference, platformengineering.org. So the whole idea behind these courses was to create a set of vendor neutral, very practical, practitioner led certification programs that don't just focus in on technology and the how um, to actually design platforms and build them, but the overarching strategy, the leadership, and um, sort of the philosophy and change management behind doing platform engineering well. There's a lot more to these than just let's select some tools and slap them together. So why do these certifi uh, certifications even begin to exist? Well, when you think about it, platform engineering as a practice is still emerging. The talent pool is still fairly scarce. There's um, still, I would say a bit of a gap between the need for platform engineers and folks with that skill set and who is actually available to take on those roles. There's also no real standard path into platform engineering as a discipline. So people are coming into it either from an SRE type background, traditional DevOps, developer experience, maybe even project management. Um, but there isn't a clearly defined way to get into platform engineering as a practice, whatever your context is. The other thing that's really important as to why we needed these certifications is because most teams are figuring out things in real time. This leads to reinventing the wheel and doing things completely unnecessarily and in fact, causing a lot of stress. There needs to be a set of best practices that team, teams apply in order to get to the outcomes they're looking to have. And these certifications are a way to get there. The other thing that's really important to mention is that these certifications are really helping to standardize that foundational knowledge. So, you know, it's not just about learning how to do it, but it's how to standardize the way to approach the problems that we solve with platform engineering. And the other thing is, is that doing these certifications helps connect you to the other people that are learning it, the other people that are going through it. And I've put a quote on here that I've said before, and I'll mention it again. And as someone who's instructed these courses now for the better part of a year and a half, I have seen people go from just kind of being platform engineering curious, not really sure what's going on, uh, having completely different expectations of what platform engineering actually means to suddenly becoming true practitioners as well as true champions in the span of a few short weeks. Um, it's a lot of knowledge packed into a very tight schedule. And what's amazing to see is how people come out the other side with a completely different mindset. As a practice, we know platform engineering keeps growing and it's why these courses are so important. This is just a segment of the data that platformengineering.org has gathered to show how that growth over time of even just this community looks. And you can see how quickly and how fast it's scaling up. I can't wait to see the numbers from this year because I think they're going to be even more impressive. 
But the other thing that's important to note about platform engineering and why it's so important to think about doing certifications in this area is because key people like Gartner have identified it as a top strategic technology trend. It's not going away. They estimate by next year, 80% of large software engineering organizations will have a platform team that builds an internal developer platform to deliver to their devs at some level or another. I actually think this will happen faster, but you know, it's important to know it's not something that's just a flash in the pan. It's a real strategic technology trend. What's also interesting to note and something that, you know, we talk about a little bit in the course is that the average salary of someone who's actually specialized in platform engineering is, statistically speaking, higher than someone who is in just DevOps. Yes, there is a difference between how the US and Europe looks at this, but even still, the difference can be quite substantial. It's a specialized skill set, and it's not just about technology, but we'll touch on that in a little bit. So who are these courses even for? I've talked about delivering them for a year and a half, but what kind of folks are showing up to these and are you a good fit? Well, take a look at these scenarios and decide which one of these might be you, because these are the type of people that get on the course and um, become the best and strongest participants. So maybe you are an infra engineer, maybe you're tired of firefighting and you're ready to build something that can really last and solve problems. So if you think about what the certifications could do for you, they will help you shift from doing tickets to actually doing strategy and having strategic thinking and enabling people to get away from that reliance on ticket ops. Maybe you've been doing platform adjacent work for years or something very similar to it, but you've never actually had the language to structure and formalize what it is that you actually do and the way you approach problems. With these courses, you will learn to explain not just what you do, but how you go about doing it and why it matters and why it's so important. This can be one of the biggest learnings for people to come out of this course. You may also be someone whose team got asked to build a platform or start platform engineering, but you don't know where to start or you're afraid of making the wrong leap. Maybe you're a team that's already tried something and you need to start fresh because you made some mistakes. With the certifications, you will end up with a clear path, not just for starting, but also a roadmap for the future. And I promise there are also going to be some reality checks in there to prevent you from making mistakes that you may have already made or potentially stop you from making ones if you are starting out. And last, not least, there's other examples too, but these are the ones I see the most common. You could be someone that wants to grow into a more strategic role in platform engineering without losing your technical roots. And this is very common. Uh, I definitely see this one quite a bit. So the idea behind the certifications is that you're going to learn how to speak and show value, not just to technical teams, but also to other stakeholders and to leadership. You will go beyond just technology, but you will keep that skill set and that knowledge at the core. So whether or not you're leveling up, you're switching lanes, or maybe you're just starting out in platform engineering, these courses, these certifications are the place to figure it out together with other people who are going through the same thing. And I think the discussions and the collaboration we tend to have inside of these courses is incredibly valuable. There is a lot of community that you can bounce things off of, and chances are you are going to be sitting in a virtual room with folks who have been through what you're going through or maybe are in the process of experiencing it themselves. You're not alone. So what are the certifications that we are currently offering and what do they actually look like? Well, the first one is the certified practitioner. And the idea here is that you're going to explore fundamental topics. So things like self-service, what are golden paths, what is the MVP and how do you build one with a lot of space for real world discussion. And like I said, this becomes really, really popular. Some of the live Q&A sessions that we do, some of the live discussions that we do um, become very in depth, but also it's a great way to see how other people in the community are looking at a similar set of problems. But by the end of this, you'll have built um, an IDP hands-on. You'll have that first level of hands-on experience touching an actual platform. And you're also going to get access to lots of blueprints and templates that will really help you follow the best practice that you'll get taught. So this is six weeks and is a combination of instructor-led live sessions, lots of extra content, as well as some hands-on exercises for you to do. 
And once you've done that and you have the certified practitioner uh, exam under your belt, you can then move on to certified professional. So here we'll go beyond the basics and really look at designing full-blown rollout strategy beyond MVP, as well as understanding the adoption paths you have to look at across multiple workflows, multiple teams, multiple ways of thinking. This is really going to bring your platform engineering skill set to the next level. And this is a much more intense course. It's actually eight weeks long instead. And this is the industry leading well-recognized certification that will be valid for 12 months once you take the exam. It changes a lot. And that's why there's a 12 month window. There are some other uh, introductory and in-depth courses that might be valuable to you if you aren't quite ready for certification. So there's the intro to platform engineering, which is a free course. And in this, you'll go through um, the high level introduction to the world of platform engineering. So you're going to take the first steps towards being certified in this practice. The next course that is available is the cloud development environment course. And this is a real introduction to this world of CDEs and their impact on things like platform engineering, security, uh, and AI. So this is supported by the folks at Gitpod and Coder, who are two of the leading cloud development environment providers. It's a very interesting course. And actually, we do touch cloud development environments inside of the certifications. At the moment, we are actively working on a platform leadership course as well, and one specifically for the security track of the MVP to go into a lot more detail. There's going to be more of these coming, so keep an eye on them. So what is the format and experience of these courses? What could you expect if you decided to jump in and take one? Well, we've tried to create the kind of learning experience that we really wish existed when we started working with platform engineering teams. So this is stuff like live sessions with space for real conversations, diverse discussions on the tooling landscape as a whole. You're not shoehorned into talking about, you know, just a tiny, tiny subset of vendors. There's case studies. And it's important to note that those case studies and real world examples don't pretend like platforms are perfect. We don't talk about anything being perfect in these courses, and I think that's important. So there's a great uh, quote from a fall winter 2024 cohort participant that really talks about this well. So there's a real cohort feel to these courses. People bounce ideas off each other, and it's common to see learners become colleagues, mentors, or friends. We've seen that, and we've seen people uh, get excited about connecting at events like PlatformCon. The thing that's important to note about the course is they aren't just deeply technical certifications focused on doing the thing. They're also focused on this more holistic approach to platform engineering, which goes beyond just technology. So we look at stuff like cultural change, cultural transformation, digital transformation, communication, leadership, strategy. You're going to learn about how to deal with conflict and how to make sure that you promote your platform internally well. It's not just about the technology. So what happens after the course, you know, I think is really interesting. And I, I find people tend to go into one of three different paths when they go through these certifications. So the first one I see is the builder. And a good quote that represents the builder is that someone said, I came in curious, not knowing what to expect. And I left with a clear plan for my org's MVP. So this is someone that's going to take ideas from the course and apply them within a couple of weeks and really, really get going quickly. The material you'll learn in the certification courses will help you get your team um, out of any ruts you might be in and avoid months of decision paralysis or kind of that chase for perfection that doesn't need to happen. The other type of person I see come out of these certifications is the leader. And this is someone um, that could say something like, the course gave me the language and framework I needed to align our leadership and developer teams finally. And this is a real quote from someone that took the the um, certification courses. So this is a person who would use the frameworks that they find inside the certifications to pitch their platform as a product-based approach and carry on with that strategy. They also will use that stuff to build internal momentum with stakeholder teams and not let that slow down. It's the person that drives things forward. The third type of person I see come out of these courses and sort of the third outcome set that I see is this explore idea. And someone described this as this was their first exposure to the realities of platform engineering. Now they're driving the effort and planning that platform engineering initiative at their startup, which is a really, really cool way uh, to see how someone takes this knowledge and applies it. So for this person, they moved into a formal platform role at their organization. They shifted into doing something specializing in platform engineering. 
And they started hosting internal platform engineering roundtables and working sessions to really build out the initiative that they want to drive. So a couple of key learnings I want to give to you before I let you go. So the first thing that's most important is that it's not just about the tools. And this is something that comes up all the time in these courses. This is one of the common things that people struggle with. And once you're done the course, you'll have figured this out. So the first key learning I want to give you is that cultural and process will always be more important than technology and platform engineering. It doesn't matter if you have the best tech stack in the world, it won't save a platform that nobody asked for. So this is the biggest epiphany I see people have through participation in these courses. The second learning that's really important is that you can't skip out on empathy and every platform initiative is part of developer experience. It's part change management. And if teams really miss out on this, they fail often. If you're not empathetic, it's really hard to build a good platform. And this is something that comes up all the time inside of the certifications. The third thing that's important to note is that progress over perfection is a key learning that people will take away from these certifications. So great platforms evolves. They don't start at the peak. Keeping your team focused on starting small, staying close to users and iterating is the key. And this is something you will learn how to do inside of the certifications. The fourth thing I want to touch on is that teams and individuals that take the certifications learn to reflect, not just architect and build. So the most successful learners, and in fact, platform engineering teams, adapt quickly to treating their platform like a product. And this means things like setting up feedback loops, user conversations, and having a willingness to change and grow as feedback evolves. These are the key things that you're going to walk away from, not just an understanding of tools and technology. And the real success metric for platform engineering and the real thing we focus on is whether or not people are actually using your platform. This is the thing that matters. This is what you are going to learn how to do well. Make sure that people adopt and use your platform long term. So if you're interested in trying out one of these courses or doing one of the certifications, you need to check out Platform University. So that's university.platformengineering.org. So we start cohorts of both certifications every couple months, depending on the level of certification. And there's lots of options available in terms of the individual courses as well. If you're looking at maybe getting your entire team trained and certified, you can shoot me an email. Uh, Again, my address is here on the screen. And if you're also interested in maybe looking at a service provider or trainer certification, that is something we can talk about too. So I'll just leave you with the thought that at the end of the day, what is so important is doing platform engineering well means a lot of different things outside of just technology. There are best practices that we've learned from doing this hundreds of times that come into these courses, into these certifications and give you real practical guidance for doing this well. So if you have any questions, let us know. And I'm really hoping to see you inside one of the courses.